Hey guys, Phil here. Welcome back to another YouTube tutorial. Today, I'm fulfilling another request. This one was voted on by the members of our Facebook community. They wanted to hear Every Time You Go Away by Paul Young. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the chorus from our intermediate level arrangement from our app. That section sounds like this. One, two, set, go. Okay, cool, we got 100% there on the demo. By the end of this video, you're gonna have the tools you need to get 100% as well. And if you're not practicing along in your own interactive app, I gotta ask, why not? Tap this card above if you wanna learn about a free trial we're doing, where you can get full access to our interactive app for 30 days with no strings attached. All right, well, let's dive in. We're gonna start with the right hand first. I'm gonna break it down for you. We're gonna learn that, and then we're gonna switch to the left hand. And then we're gonna put them together at the end of this video. Let's get started. First, before we dig into the notes and rhythms, let's talk about key signature and time signature. The key signature says one flat. It's located just to the right of that treble clef in the notation above. And that flat is a B flat. All Bs are flat automatically. And this tells us that we're in the key of F major. The time signature is 4-4, four, four, four beats per measure. All right, so now let's dig in. We're gonna start with an F high up from middle C. Here's middle C, and then here's F. Here's the octave above. That's where we're starting. With third finger and then thumb on C. Rest, and then we're gonna move our hand position down, thumb on A. Two on C, four on F, five on G. Back down to F in the next measure. And then we're gonna move down, third finger, all the way down to A. And then walk down, two on G, one on F. Rest, next measure starts with rest as well. And then we have B flat, don't forget our key signature. Third finger on B flat. Four on C, five on D, three on A in the next measure. A thumb on F and two on G. And there's the end of our first phrase. The second phrase is very similar, though not identical. So let's take a look at this next system, the second phrase. We're starting with a two count rest, a half rest. And then again, we have thumb on A, two on C, four on F, five on G. Next measure, four back to F. And that's really the vocal hook of this section, right? Every time you go away. Okay, that's what we have in the first phrase, we have it again here in the second phrase. Three down to A, walking down, two on G, one on F. Rest, rest, again B flats, walking up, three on A, one on F, two on G. All right, well that's it. And if you need extra practice with me walking through it out of time, please rewind and play back. But now I'd like to focus on these rhythms a little bit more by queuing up our slow tempo backing track. Once we get it down there, we'll speed it up. Ready? One, two, set, go. One and two, three and four and one, two and three and rest. And three, and four, and one, and two, and three. Look ahead and rest. Two, three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four. Rest. And three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. Okay, great. We got 100% there at the slow speed. Now let's go ahead and kick it up to full tempo. One, two, set, go. All 
All right, 100% for that right hand. That feels good, right? So now let's switch gears and get the left hand into the mix, shall we? Really, there are only four chords in this section. There's an F chord, there's a D minor chord, there's a G minor chord, and there's a C chord. Okay, but we have a couple of different inversions. We have some chords repeating, and then we have some different rhythms. A lot of these are whole notes, but we also have some half notes. So let's go ahead and take it from the top. I'll walk you through each chord. We're going to start with F major in root position. One, two, three, four. That's a whole note, okay? Next chord, we're only moving our thumb. The other two notes stay the same. So we're going to move up from C to D. Now we're in measure two. We have D minor over F, and that means we're in a D minor inversion where the F note is the lowest note of the voicing. Here's root position D minor. This is D minor over F. Third measure, we have G minor in root position. Notice now we're keeping our thumb the same. All right, now in measure four, we go back to our F chord, but just for two counts, and then we go down to our C over E. It's a C major chord in first inversion. What I love about this section is that the inversions that we chose to use in this arrangement make it so that every chord in this progression is nearby. In other words, you don't have to have huge jumps left and right and left and right to play this chord progression. One more time, it goes F, then we move up just one note to our next chord. Then we move up the bottom two notes for our third chord. Then we're back down to F, which is very close by, and then dropping down the bottom two notes to C over E. Everything is contained right here in this one sort of wider position. And if we look at the second system for the second phrase, in the left hand at least, we notice it's exactly the same as the first. So let's get an extra round of practice. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, I think, because these rhythms aren't too challenging and this tempo isn't too fast, that we should go ahead and try to demo this together here at full speed. But if we try it and it's too tough for you, please toggle on that slow tempo button in your app if you're following along at home. Let's go ahead and try it. One, two, set, go. D minor. Here comes G minor, back to F, one, two, three, four, back to F, good, D minor, G minor, now half notes, F, two, C, four. Okay everyone, so the right hand's down, check, the left hand is now down, check. Our final check for this lesson is going to be to put these hands together. But before we do, let me remind you that there's a lot more to be learned in this song. This is just one difficulty level, and this is just one song section from that difficulty level. This is the intermediate chorus. But what if you want to learn the rest of this song? Or what if this is too tough for you? Maybe you want to level down to rookie. Yeah, we've got this song in a rookie level arrangement as well. You've got a ton of stuff to do in the interactive app, and I'm gonna plug our free trial one more time. Tap this card above that says, what are you waiting for? And take advantage of this limited time free trial that we're only offering to our YouTube subscribers. So of course, step one is to hit that subscribe button. All right, so we've still got a little more work to do in this video before you go and start your free trial and explore the app. Let's go ahead and put these hands together. We'll start slow, and then we'll speed up to full tempo. Ready? One, two, set, go. Right, great stuff, you guys. Good work so far. There we have it at the slow speed. And please, it's now more important than ever before that you take your time. Don't be in a hurry. You may need to practice this 
three, five, 10, 20 times in a row before you're ready to move on to full speed. Don't be in a hurry. But of course, when you are ready, let's wrap this video up together. Here we go, full speed. One, two, set, go. All right, everyone, there we have it. This video is a wrap. Every Time You Go Away by Paul Young, Intermediate Chorus, nailed it. So if you wanna vote on a future YouTube tutorial, you gotta go join our Facebook community, links in the description, and you can have your vote heard once a week. That's right, the members of our community are voting weekly on my tutorials, and we're fulfilling these requests. So check that out, check the app out. There's a ton of stuff going on. I'm not gonna list it all off here because there's too much. I'm Phil, and thanks for watching Playground Sessions. I'll see you soon for the next video lesson. The features you saw on screen today can be at your fingertips with the Playground Sessions app. Co-created by music legend Quincy Jones, Playground teaches the piano with interactive feedback and gaming features, all while using your favorite songs. All right, guys, I'm Phil. Hit subscribe so I can see you for the next video.